Dennis Villeneuve's Dune, Part 2 has assembled a formidable cast as it continues to bring Frank Herbert's science fiction epic to life in an awe-inspiring way, but questions could remain if Jason Momoa's Duncan Idaho will return for the sequel. One of the more popular characters in Dune due to his laid-back charm, Duncan Idaho is an adventurous and skilled fighter who serves House Atreides as a swordmaster. While Timothy Chalamet is a good fit as protagonist Paul Atreides, Jason Momoa perfectly embodies Duncan Idaho, endearing himself to viewers. Whether he appears in Dune's sequel will definitely affect its tone. Herbert's first Dune novel has been split into two movies, with his second book, Dune, Messiah, capping off a planned trilogy. Dune's ending leaves Paul and his mother, Lady Jessica, Rebecca Ferguson, marooned in the harsh, worm-infested desert of Arrakis after Paul's father, Duke Leto Atreides, Oscar Isaac, is captured. After Paul proves himself, though, he is allowed to hide out with the Freeman, including the mysterious Cheney, Zendaya. Dune 2 continues Paul's story and keeps much of the first movie's cast but not every character survives to make the cut. Jason Momoa does not return in Dune 2. Jason Momoa does not return in Dune, Part 2 for one significant reason, his character, Duncan Idaho, is among Dune's major character deaths. Duncan is introduced early in Dune, with the warrior sent to Arrakis ahead of House Atreides' takeover. Duncan's mission is to scope out the planet and look into its indigenous Freeman population. Heroic to the end, Duncan is killed defending Paul, Lady Jessica, and Kynes, Sharon Duncan Brewster, from Sardaukar warriors in an impressive fight scene. It's an important sacrifice, as it means that, unlike Leto, Paul and his mother can hide in the desert among the freemen. Even with various sci-fi elements in play, it's no surprise that Momoa is not among the Dune 2 cast, which includes returnees such as Timothy Chalamet and Rebecca Ferguson, as well as newcomers, such as Florence Pugh as Irulan. Momoa, meanwhile, spent his time not being involved in Dune 2 to make a variety of other projects. While it's a shame Momoa didn't get the chance to do more with Duncan Idaho, his death was needed for the plot to stay faithful to Frank Herbert's novel. The sequel avoids the temptation to include him in a cameo somewhere. Jason Momoa's Dune return has already been teased for Dune 3. Dune might have killed Duncan Idaho, and Dune 2 might not have any indications that he is alive, but Jason Momoa's return to the franchise for Dune 3 has already been teased. In the lead-up to Dune 2's release, Timothy Chalamet did an interview with MTV and confidently teased that his former co-star would be back. He said, Momoa will be back. Not in this one, but, in Dune Messiah. It is through this simple comment that Chalamet has confirmed plans for Jason Momoa to return in Dune 3, even if a formal announcement has not been made.